Yat e. Good evening, everybody. We're back with Navajo on Duolingo. I'm going to jump back into intro. I think it's going to give me some more complicated uh, phrases this time. Let's see what it brings up. Ne. This means you. Yat e to hash yenilye. This is hello and what is your name? Hash is the question word meaning what? And yenilye is you are called. To means and and yat e means it is good or hello. So hello. What is your name? Yat e to hash inilye. Yat e do hash inilye. Oh, I forgot an and. It's an English failing. Good morning. It is yat e abinne. Abinne is morning. Yat e abinne. Good morning. What is your name? Yat e abene to. Well, no, they don't want an and, I suppose. Hash inilye. Yat e abene hash inilye. Yate abene to a hiehet. A hiehet. Yate abene to to a hiehet. Good morning, mother. Yate abene shima. Yate abene shima. Yate abene to a hiehet. Good morning, and thank you. Yate abene to ahiehet. Yate to hashinie. Hello, and what is your name? Cool. Let's see. It's one more lesson in intro. Let's see what that is. And then we'll move on to numbers. Oh boy. Place names. Not. Not on Nines. Not on Nines. Not on Nines. Oh. Um. No, dot, not anines. Oh, jeez. Dinia. I believe this is I go, and that is you go. Dinia, dea, dea. Dot, I believe, means two. Not anines is shiprock. No, dot. Not anines go any go dinea. Missing on this one word here go. Okay. Mm. I am joined to shiprock. Dot net anines. Oh wow. It's a distinguishing between the tones here. Boy, go dea. No, oh boy. Natani is Natani is go dea. It doesn't want the dot at the beginning. Huh. Okay. Dot Natani is go dea. 
are you going to Shiprock? Shiprock is a place in the Navajo Nation. Oh, don't want to cheat. Shima Natanines Gotea. Mother. They hmm. are, I believe, is I go. Or does this mean my mother is going? It should be different in third person, but I'm just going to go with mother. I am going to Shiprock. I might be wrong here. Oh! Okay. Nat Anines Go Dea. I am going to Shiprock. My mother, I am going to Shiprock. We just saw this. Shima Nat Anines Go Dea. Oh, Jesus. I'm typing English. Da not anines go dinia. Okay, I know this. You going to ship rock? Are you going to ship rock? Da not anines go dinia. Nice. Are you going to ship rock? Can we just do that? Da not anines go dinia. Oh, it's uh, frozen. Hmm. Okay. Boy, this one is repetitive. I am going to ship rock. Not an ines go dea dea. Gotta get that rising tone dea. Not an ines go dea. Hmm. I think this might be a beta issue. See down here, both the e and the a in dea are high tone, but up here. The E is low tone, and the A is high tone. And they're spelling not aninis as two words down here, but one word up here. This is kind of confusing, especially in a language where the tone is very important. But I passed. Level two. Okay. We'll leave that for next time. Let's go on to numbers. Four is D. One is Da Ta La I. When you're counting, as in one, two, three, usually you'll you'll just say La I instead of Ta La I. And then Ashla Ashla. You don't really say the D. It's almost more of a gl sound, but here it kind of all runs together. Ashlat, ashlat for five. Two, nake, ta la it, ashlat, nake, nake is two. La i, na ke, trent, din, ashla, om, hastin, tsutsu, tsubi, nehas, nahaste, nez na. I think that's right. We'll see. Counting to ten. Trent, trent. I don't know why 
they pronounce it kind of a th, the, the, a harsher T, or at least that's how I remember them saying it, th, th, even though there's no apostrophe or anything special there, th. Nope. Oh no, I wasn't reading the sentence. Your one is tasha it. That's uh, my bad. Three. Now we want three. Ta. Getting distracted by the new words. Ashla is five. Write this in English. Ta. Di. Ashla. Three, four, five. Sheep. <laughs> they throw that in there. Sheep is tepe. Tepe. Lamb would be tepe yaje. Little sheep. Tasla it. Nake. Ashla. One, two, five. One, two, five. Three. Select the word for one. I won't be fooled this time. Ta la it. Ta da. It's really loud. I'm going to do the next level of numbers. Here we go. Nesna. Tsepi. Tsitsit. We were wanting seven, that's tzitzit. Six, hastan. Hastan. Eight, tsebi. Tsebi. Ten, nesna. Nesna. Nine. Nahaste. Nahaste. D. Ashla. Hastan. That is four. Five. Six. Nisna. Tsebi. Hastan. Oh dear. Hastan is six. Tsepi is eight. Nisna. That's ten, but they're spelling it differently than they spelled it before. Ten, eight, six. I could have sworn they spelled it with just one A before. Nahaste. See, their their spelling is all over the place. There was an apostrophe here in the last one. Nahaste versus Nahaste. Though, so, um, this is nine. Navajo is more a spoken than a written language, though there is a standard spelling system. There's probably some disagreement on how to spell certain things, especially considering that there are several different dialects of Navajo. It's spoken over a relatively wide region when it comes to American, um, Native American languages within the United States. And uh, in a way, Apache is also sort of a, a dialect of Navajo or, or vice versa. They're similar enough that I am told they are mutually understandable. Let's do one more thing. Let's start body parts. I, I don't really know these very well at all. No, I don't know them at all. This is totally new to me. We want to face. So we have a ja ayatzin. And ani, so ani is face. 
Now we want nose. Ayatsin. Ayatsin. Yatsin. All low tone. Ayatsin. Be careful not to go high tone. In English, we tend to, to rise our tone during certain points of our speech. In Navajo, that can change the meaning of a word. Especially with questions, you have to keep an even tone or else it'll sound like you're pronouncing the wrong tone because we tend to rise at the end of a, of a question. But you don't do that in Navajo unless the word is supposed to be high tone. Now we need ear. A jot. A jot. So I've noticed all of these are starting with an A. In Navajo, that usually signifies somebody's. And when you're referring to your own ear, I'm speculating here, you would probably say shijat for my ear and shini for my for my face. But I could be wrong here. At at Well, we know that's not nose. Unless I've already forgotten, so let's say it's the uh, forehead. Yes. Sh, anit, sin, chik, holo, 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 she anit, sit, holo. I have. A cheek. A knee. This was face. A jot. I think that was that ear. I don't remember. Ear. Yes. A chee. A chee. You know it's not cow. Was it cheek? This wasn't nose, was it? I'm going to cheat. Nose. Did it change? I thought that was something different. Well, it's in beta. There's still a lot of work to do. But it's really cool that, that they have Navajo on here at all. It's pretty amazing. I'd really like to see them add uh, Lakota and uh, Nahuatl. Nahuatl, Nahuatl is uh, Aztec. And Lakota is the, the Sioux, the Lakota Sioux language. Those are both languages with a fair number of speakers still around, especially Aztec. Aztec has a ton of speakers in Mexico. But uh, Lakota, I have one book on Lakota, and I think it's a really cool language. It sounds really cool, and it's a lot easier to pronounce than Navajo, in my opinion, although I haven't studied very much Lakota. And I, I don't remember, I only really remember one phrase, a couple of phrases, Leantapu, Leantapu washte, and, um, no, I forget the other one. Leantapu washte means uh, today or this, this is a good day. Leantapu washte, it doesn't have quite as many of those <laughs> and, and the tones and all of those very difficult things like Navajo does. All right. Well, this was fun. We'll do some more tomorrow. Ajehe to to hakonet.